I want to show you five super helpful features for print on demand specifically. This is going to help you scale your designs a lot faster. It's going to help you get more unique things. It's going to help you get more eyeballs on your designs. So let's jump right into Kittle right here. And this is where I'm going to show you these five features. So I've got this list right here just so you can get an itinerary here. We're going to talk about something called quick replace, something called smart color palettes, an auto resize feature that we have in Kittle. It's going to save you so much time. Something called shape unite or merging complex shapes, which is going to help you with your unique designs. And then we have some secret export control features that you probably haven't got in other tools and things like that. So I want to show you all this. And then I'm going to talk about a bonus called bundles. If you don't know what that is, oh man, I'm going to save you so much time. If you do know what that is, obviously you don't need to watch that if you don't want to. Now let's start with quick replace. So I have this amazing template that I found over here in our templates panels. I just opened this up. I typed in Western t-shirt and I got a bunch of different templates. I chose this one, but let's say I wanted to change this one. And instead of cowgirl, I wanted this to be cowboy. And instead of of, I'm not exactly sure what that what the, that word means. But um, I was just gonna change it to country for some reason, and then jams will will change to like I don't, I don't know we'll change it to something very cowboy esque. But the point, the feature that I want to show you is called quick replace, and we have this really nice illustration of kind of a western town with a cowgirl in the middle of it. But if I go over into our elements panel here, what I'm gonna do is type in cowboy. And I need to find one to fit in this template. But if I were to just kind of add one, uh, for example, if I was going to add this guy right here, now what I would need to do is like I would need to go in, I would need to delete this cowgirl, I would need to scale this one up, I would need to change all the color, all that stuff. But what I can do is with this selected, I have it selected right now, I can scroll through this and I can find one that I want. Let's say I go with this one right here because it has a setting in it just like this one. So all I have to do is actually click this replace feature and just like that it has replaced the cowgirl illustration perfectly with the proportions that I need for this design. I can obviously go in here and I can change it quickly to the color that I want in the background if I want it to punch through or anything like that. And that is the first feature is called quick replace or replace and you can do that by selecting anything thing from anywhere you can see these little replace features this works with objects it works with your uploads panel it works with the AI art that you generate anything that's going to be over here in this left panel even with images you see here replace even with textures you see here replace anything over here on this left panel you're going to be able to replace quickly in your setting and so in just a few seconds actually I changed a really nice template from you know cowgirl to cowboy and then maybe I could duplicate this and change it to a bunch of different western ones maybe i want to do an animal in there maybe i want to do one with just horses maybe i want to do one with just cactus whatever i can do that easily with this quick replace feature now that was the first one let's talk about some smart color palettes that we have so let's say i wanted to duplicate this design and look at it in different colors i can hold the alter option key i like to click and drag to duplicate you can command or control c and v if that if that's what you want to do but what i can do is go down here to browse color palettes and we have these smart palettes over here, where as you can see, if I hover over them, it's gonna immediately change the color perfectly based on the composition. So it knows what colors to fill in for the text, for the illustration, and I can do this, and I can get a lot of different options. So maybe I wanna duplicate this, and I, you know, I really do like that one, but I do want one that's maybe a little bit more green. So boom, now I have one that's a little bit more green. Let's just do it one more time and go to browse color options and maybe we want one that is let's see uh yeah like this one this bold blue one in a matter of seconds again with the smart palette feature over here you can have a bunch of different designs to look at see which one maybe fits best maybe see what kind of color t-shirt you would want to put this on or color tote bag or color mug or whatever and as you can see right here i also have my own brand kit palette which you can build over here in the brand kits section and you can have different colors in your brand kit which will show up as a color palette over here in the right side Side. So when you're building color palettes that are attached to a brand kit, let's say you just really like a specific set of colors, you can add that to a brand kit and then instantly apply that to your design. So that is also kind of a secondary kind of bonus feature to the color palette feature. 
Okay, so that was the quick replace the smart color palettes. Let's talk about auto resize. So let's say you're gonna be using this design on a variety of products and maybe you don't wanna spend a ton of time going in, punching different numbers and exporting different sizes for whatever reason. You just wanna see kind of what they're gonna look like at different sizes. Well, this one you can see down here, it says 1399 by 1679, it's just pixel size. But let's say I wanna leave that one as it is. This one I'm gonna use for something a lot smaller like a tote bag, so it doesn't need to be as big as you know a, a hoodie size or whatever. I can actually just scale it from the corner, actually any corner, and if I click and drag, you can see those numbers, those pixel numbers going down to what they need to be. And so let's say this one needs to be around 900 and I, you know, maybe I'm... I, not talking about a tote bag, maybe I'm talking about a mug, right? A mug size is gonna be a lot smaller than a full back t-shirt or a hoodie. And I know it needs to be around 900 width. Well, over here, you see these custom settings on the right side where it will also automatically resize to what you want. Now, right now, these are unlinked. They're not locked in proportion, but if I lock this and I go over here and I type 900, when I click out of this or I hit enter, you can see on the right side, it perfectly changed the height. And I can do this over and over again. So if I change this to a thousand, click out of it, now you can see the height went to 1200. And that's how you can get a lot easier and a lot faster maneuverability on your designs. And again, this will go way, way small and way, way big. So you can take this all the way down to something like I don't know, maybe you need a super small sticker or maybe you need like a gigantic banner. You can do that or you can click over in these settings and that's how you can use our auto resize feature. It's really helpful, it's really fast, especially if you need the same design 10 times in a bunch of different sizes. You can just feel free to duplicate as many times as you want in the board, use that auto resize, drag it up, drag it down, whatever you need to do. Okay, let's talk about something I'm just gonna call Shape Unite or Merging. I got these two examples right here. Let's say in this one, we want this O to be a little bit more playful and I have this nice silhouette of a bullet and if I put it right here, this looks kind of cool. Obviously, I could change this to the color of the background, but then if I change the color of the background, this bullet would then be the same, so it's kind of awkward and it doesn't really make sense. But what I can actually do now that we have new vector editing tools and a lot more capability, is I can select both things. I can just drag over and select both things. And then over here in the shape builder, I can hit subtract. And now that bullet is now subtracted from the O. And any color I make this background will change perfectly. And I can see the silhouette in the O there perfectly. And so now that this is a one piece unit, one piece SVG, if I double click into this, I can see all of the points on all of the letters. And I can also make adjustments, by the way, to letters. I can move them, I can scale them, I can change the curves of different thing, and I can get really unique letter forms. Or if I wanted this to be a little bit more inside, I want the, the top of the bullet here to be a little bit more narrow. I can make adjustments like that just by double clicking in and moving all the anchor points around. It's a really, really neat feature. It takes one or two seconds just to select two things and then you can merge it into the same thing. Let's do the same thing right here. Maybe we want this star to be on the O here in Cowboy, this kind of sheriff star. Do the same thing, select both, and I can just subtract. And now this O, uh, maybe this is going to be a design I use for a lot of different t-shirts or a series of Western print-on-demand merch that I do. This is perfect now. I can change the color to anything I want, and it's going to be perfectly adapted like that. The little star is not going to change because it's now part of that letter O object. And again, if I double click in, I can see all of the little points. I can make anything bigger, smaller, uh, more obscure, less obscure, anything that you want. You can do it now with vector editing, which is really, really powerful. So that is what I'm just calling kind of shape unite. But let's talk about some secret export settings right now, some secret export control. And I'll show you what I'm talking about, the secret portion in a second. But let's just talk about one feature that I really like a lot. If I want to go and export this, I can go up to the share and I can go to download project. Now, one thing that I love is that I have all of the different file types. Usually I just need PNG. I just need to remove the background as well because I don't need that cream color in the background. I just need the darker brown color because that's what's going to go over top of a light shirt, a light tote bag, a light whatever. But here's what's really, really great is if I adjust these pixel sizes, it'll adapt accordingly or I can just go over here into the DPI control 
control and I know a lot of you just want to go ahead and type in 300 and call it a done deal that's fine you're gonna get your exported design whether or not you're in inches centimeters pixels whatever at your 300 dpi settings but even if I leave that by itself here's where I like to use it is these are gonna be attached now I know for Amazon for example and for a lot of different print on demand sites because Amazon has its own print on demand function I know they want 5400 by 5400 well if I just type in 4500 then the height is gonna adjust there to the 5400 it's perfectly the size that I need I don't even need to worry about DPI it is the exact pixel size you see right here you can change it if you want to if you want to know it in inches and you want it to be a 16 by 20 you could do that as well but I, I just like thinking in pixels I like thinking in pixels I know this is the exact pixel size that I would want to upload to Printify or to Amazon or whatever like that now and then I could download that and it would be great now, here's the really, really cool thing that I was talking about. Let's say that you're going to use this across a variety of different things. Maybe you're also using some fulfillment sites like a Redbubble or a Display or maybe something else where you just kind of upload designs and then it puts it on a bunch of different products. TeePublic is another example of that where you just upload it and it's going to attach it to a bunch of different products. Well, I don't actually need to select the entire artboard and go up and go through that whole thing that I just showed you. I can just select an object and just quick export it right here. You see that right there? It says quick export. If I click that, I have all of the same options, PNG, JPEG, SVG, whatever, and then I can export it at one, two, or three times size. Now let's say I wanted to further edit this in another design program, maybe I use multiple tools, well then I can just export it as an SVG and then it's going to be perfectly editable, still scalable, still vector, and any other tool that I want to use. And so that's what makes the quick export, that's the secret part, like a lot of people didn't know that. They can go, I could even select this entire middle part of the design and just export this part of the design. Maybe I just want to use that as a sticker and I just want to make sure it's really, really big, right? Three times the normal size of the pixel ratio, which you can see over here, 963. I'm going to times that by three, it's going to be a lot bigger. Or if I just want the text on a curve I can just export that or if any any other part of it I can do that's the secret feature of the export control that you can use is quick export or you can go up into the share settings you can go into download your project you can go through the whole steps that I just showed you okay let's talk about one bonus feature that I think is exceptional for print on demand really for any kind of designing and that is what we're calling design bundles if I open up the templates panel over here on the left side I'm gonna type in design bundle and you're gonna see these thumbnails on the left that are gonna show you a full preview of an entire basically template package of a design style now there's gonna be things like fonts assets elements textures color palettes everything are gonna be inside of this one design bundle so that you don't have to go hunt and find and search and iterate and try to do a bunch of finding we've already found it for you so you can see here uh, coffee we have retro ones we have bright ones here's one that says adventure and it looks kind of similar to the vibe I'm going for there's another one up here it says adventure I'm gonna click on this one and it's gonna add all of these boards into my current project you can see there's 12 boards let me get this out of the way and just at a preview look at how much detail and a lot of elements are already in here we have everything from layouts these are ready to go layouts I could do the same thing I could quick replace this with whatever kind of asset that I want I can change my text really easily it's already got all of the layouts for me to use however I want it's got fonts picked out for me so it shows me which font pairs would be best together and I can go and I can click on these I can duplicate them start using them however I want to uh, add my transformations add my shadings all that kind of stuff all of it is picked out for me I don't have to go into the fonts panel and just endlessly scale through different ones I can just use this right here which is really really great it has all of the elements and illustration I mean look at all of these these are all ready to go for you to use which is super nice even have animals arrows and so this is obviously just one design bundle that even has shapes and outlines here's your color palettes everything so if you want to check those out you can also put keywords to the design bundles I like just kind of looking at them because I may save some that I just don't like this one looks really nice minimalist logo design but I don't know what I would use that with yet but maybe I want to save this or maybe I want to bookmark it for later so that I can go and use it but we have so many of these design bundles and there's a lot more features and a lot more templates elements stuff like that to be had to be found in here but those were the five I wanted to talk about quick replace smart color palettes 
auto resize, shape unite, secret export, and obviously your bonus one, your design bundle. So that's more of like six, but five sounds like a better title. So you have your bonus of the design bundles. Now, if you haven't tried Kittle yet, hopefully I gave you a super brief overview of what you can do in Kittle. A lot of print on demand users are using Kittle for their designs. We have six figure sellers in Etsy, Shopify, Amazon, all these different places using print on demand. They're using Kittle to create their designs, scale them, change them, manipulate them, export them. They're using AI. They're using our vector tools to make really amazing eye catching designs. And they're using features like this that make their process a lot faster so everything can be in one place. So if you haven't tried it yet, you can click the link down in the description, get in there, try it with for free. And if you really think it's a good fit for you, I have a discount code also for you down in the description. You can get a percentage off your first subscription so that you can really take it to the next level. You can unlock all of those tools. You don't have to keep trying to fight with the free versus, you know, what do I have one time? What do I have that's like available for a limited time? You can just take that percentage off of your subscription if you want it and really take your designs to the next level. Of course, we have tons of tutorials here on the channel for you to make different design styles. We have feature videos. We have demos of different tools. If you want to become a master in a specific tool, if you want to become a master in color theory and typography, we have all kinds of content like that here on the channel. So you let me know what you think in the comments of any of these features. Tell us what you think of Kittle yourself. What kind of features do you like to have? What are you missing in Kittle? Let us know that as well, because we're always growing. We're always building, taking your feedback and making the tool better. So let us know down in the comments. Also, any other content or styles of videos that you would want to see, let us know that as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and we will see you in the next one.